Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we got the body of our ultimate rescue helicopter built last time, and today I think we're going to be doing some of the interior. Uh, this might let us know if the outside needs to change or not. Uh, so yeah, let's not waste any more time, let's grab this, take it to the, uh, the workbench there, and let's get started. All right, here we are. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna work on interior and I think we've got quite a bit of space here, honestly. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's just start with, let's see, let's put it in mirror mode first. That would be pretty essential. Let's see what our seats look like when they're put across here. Uh, I talked about having 12 seats because that's the maximum number uh, that you could get from one mission. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six with the space at the back. Huh. Might need to do something a little different. Can I put seats in here? Ooh, they're not tall enough. All right, let's let's let's, let's rework some stuff here. Uh, maybe we can do this. We can do this. We'll have some steps. Uh, can I get rid of this row here? I can. Okay, so we can do a couple seats across here now. One, two. That gives us four. You know what? Honestly, I'll leave it like that. I think four will be good. Let's refix that. I think we need to do something like that so we can actually get up that section there. Okay, and then we can take away one, two from back here. And that will actually allow us to have space for our med bed. And that should fit right in a spot like this. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Maybe like so? That might be the best spot for us here. Uh, let's build out a little section here for it to sit on. And that might do it right there. I don't know. Hmm. Is that going to cause problems back here with making a winch? Or should we move the med beds up and then maybe move the seats back more towards the back so we have more operating room back here? Or do we do one med bed? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could throw a couple seats here. That could be a thing. Let's try that. We'll get a couple passenger seats there. That's four. So that means we can take away two more here. All right, let's get rid of the bed. Let's redo all this. Because, let's see. Four, four, and four, we've got them separated. That's that's actually pretty good because if we have to separate them for reasons, say some are being rescued, some are actually being uh, just relocated, uh, we can kind of keep them separated and organized a little bit. So that's not a problem there. Uh, we've got to have some stuff in here and I feel like I'm already running out of room here. Uh, let's maybe focus on one side here and I think maybe we'll do this. Let's take these guys here. We'll swap these to this side, get rid of them here. And then right here, can I get rid of that? Hmm. Okay, so right here, we'll do something like this. We'll grab a tank. We can sit it right there. And then we'll grab a pump. And that can sit on here. Nice and neat. How do we want this to look? Uh, this is my inside, right? That's the in. If I do it like that, then, oh, yes. Okay, perfect. We'll grab a hose connector. We can stick that right there. Then we'll pipe this down. We'll pipe that straight into here. Okay, come on. Take that to there. Perfect. Uh, let's get a button. So we'll grab a toggle. Uh, let's throw that toggle right there. And we'll just kind of cap this off a little bit. This will hook up our pump. And of course, we'll need power for this. You know what? Actually, let's, uh, let's get a hose. We can put the hose right there. And all of that. Let's paint this a little blue color. All right, and now we know that, that should be for water. All right, so we could actually paint this blue too. Let's do that for the sake of consistency here. Uh, we'll know that this is just a water tank. Is that too blue? Is that too blue? What if we did this blue? Not as strong, but it still, still says water. Okay, so next to this, we can actually, we got room for our beds. We got a room for our med bed here. So, you know what, we'll put the med bed here. Uh, maybe we build a secondary wall. We'll block this off like that. Uh, we'll need something to put the bed on, so we'll do that. And grab our med bed, rotate it. It's uh, it's gonna be an ugly spot no matter where I put it. Hmm. Okay, we could get rid of those. Put it there. Give us some room here. Get rid of all of this. I don't know what we'll put here, but we will put something there. Um. Maybe we'll have a little uh, equipment shelf or something. Uh. Maybe that's what we can do. We'll uh, fill all of this in like this, and then we can put some equipment here. So let's put a let's just go ahead and put it there since I'm talking about it. Weld. Do a welder and a fire extinguisher. We've got fire right here, but in case for some reason we don't have power and this doesn't work, we need to have some sort of backup system here. Uh, so that's what that will be. Okay, so oops, can't do any of this here. So let's let's make this look nice in the back here. We'll do it to both sides. We'll do it like that. We'll go in like that and do it there. Kind of levels that out and, ooh, okay. 
need a block here. Oh, I need to block all this out. Okay, not a problem. We can actually put controls for maybe our door here. And you know what? This could be our walkway here. What if I block that off? This could be our, our door that gets sealed. Now we're gonna lose a window, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. Uh, I wanna paint this bed here. Let's give it a nice medical color. Is that too dark? Might be too dark for in here. There we go, that's a little more medical looking. All right, so that gives us room for other things here. Do I have room for a bed here though, honestly? A bed would fit in this section, but then we lose our ability to maybe seal this off. What if we had a hole in the floor and we dropped our winches straight down? That might be a better idea, and then we can utilize this space a lot better with more equipment. Because uh, I'm kind of having a hard time figuring out where all of our equipment goes, and if we store it all here, and then we just drop a winch straight out the bottom, uh, we don't have to worry about tracks or anything like that. We can just have a door that opens, it goes straight down, door Winch comes up, door closes, everybody hops out. I think, okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll make this a actual storage area back here. I can get rid of all these wedges. And this will be our main equipment area. Yep, okay, that is a no-go there. Uh, so we'll get rid of all these again. All right, I think that gets us good there. Uh, mirror mode off, we'll get rid of this. And that should be good. What was I talking about doing? Oh yeah, hole in the floor. Okay, so this will have to be all winch zone here um and that's fine uh so what we'll do is maybe we'll go from here to there i can make it work make it work there to there mm, i feel like that just we lose so much space there uh maybe a bed maybe we, 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 let's put a bed back here we could do that or our medical bed could go back here in the corner now that we've decided to do this hold up let's uh let's see what that looks like ah i kind of dig it I kind of dig that as being our medical bed there and not here. And that just gives us more room there. Oh, you know what? We get rid of all this. We have to fix it all. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and now all this under here can be equipment. Uh, we could lock this off here. That'll give us some room for some microcontrollers there. Uh, whoops. How come I can't get in? There we go. Come on. Can I, I want to get into this. I want to get into the zone. Put me in the zone right there. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do this uh, another way. So we'll put the bed here. Find out where I was. Hang on. I'm lost. There we go. Delete you. And then I can fill that in. Okay, perfect. And then we'll grab our bed again. Perfect. All right, med bed there. And then we can do a spot of medical here. Um, maybe some stuff down here as well. Okay, so let's let's get some uh, equipment in here and see how this all looks. Do some right there. Maybe some right there. Hmm, okay, let's get the equipment. So clearly, we're going to need some first aid. We can drop those in like so. We'll need a defib. Defib, where are you, Defib? You know what, and for the sake of redundancy, let's go ahead and drop a second one in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and paint these guys up red. So they match our first aid kits here. Okay, there we go. Uh, I want some oxygen. Where's oxygen, 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 that's a compass. Dog whistle, binox, oxygen mask, okay. These aren't necessarily medical, but they do help out in the event of uh, drowning. So we'll have that, and that means the crew can have oxygen as well. Uh, what's the last thing we need here? Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple flashlights and then maybe a set of flares or glow sticks. We'll do glow sticks. You know what? Uh, let's get rid of this other flashlight. We'll do another glow stick and then we can colorize these. So we can uh, maybe do some signaling with the glow sticks. So we'll do red and green. And I like that red better there. And we'll just paint our flashlight orange. Cool. Can we paint these orange? There we go. Orange for the equipment. Perfect. Oh, it's coming along nice. It's coming along nice. Oh, I love that. Uh, I love that. Okay, so underneath we can do some other equipment here. Actually, let's just close that off for now. Uh, da, 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 da. We could, let's get some equipment on the sides here. Let's do the hazmat suits. Those feel like uh, medical suits. We can do that. We'll put one there and put one there. We'll paint it the same color. So it looks like uh, scrubs, okay. Fill that in like so. We'll fill that in like so. Perfect, it's all coming together. Uh, we'll need some lights. That's not a problem. We can do that. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we want this to look here? Do we do that? I don't know if we do that. If we do that here? I don't think that's needed. That's just going to be extra weight. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, so we've we still got our water system here. Uh, we don't have... So let's do this. Let's set this up as uh, repairs. Uh, so we'll do our welders, things like that. Equipment. Uh, first, I want to grab a fire suit, wherever those may be. Inventory fire suit. There we go. Okay, so we can put one of these in here. That worked like that, but then I have to do something here. Um, how do I want this to look? Because it, it doesn't fit in any of that. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Do I just make an equipment wall and then just put it all as part of the wall? Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll do firefighting suit. Come on, come on, rotate. There's firefighting. Ooh, parachute might be good. Uh, put a couple up here for these guys. Mirror it, uh, since we want it on both sides here. So we'll do a parachute and a parachute. And ooh, that gives us room for other equipment up here as well. Uh, let's flip that around like so. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, extra fire extinguishers, one, two, three. I do want some welders, so we'll do one, two, three. Hmm, maybe we back off on the extra fire extinguisher. We do the welder there, and then we do two underwaters. Where are the welders at? Welders, 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 welders. There we go. So I have an underwater, underwater. Maybe an empty one there, just to be able to dump one out in case uh, we've got one of these in our hands already. Uh, that might be what we need to do. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I was doing it on both sides. Do I need it on both? I don't need it on both sides. No, nope, don't need it on both sides. Don't need this over here like that. Uh, we could also make this like extra equipment here so we can come in and find our diving equipment. Where's our diving? We'll have a diving side. Uh, where's my spear gun? Spear gun, spear gun ammo. Uh, that'll keep us protected from the sharks. Uh, we could do a couple more oxygen tanks and then, yeah, I don't know where else to go. Maybe a couple of flares since we're underwater with that. Uh, that could give us some light down below. And we've got our glow sticks there. And we've got our welding equipment here. Let's paint this up. Blue for our welding. Uh, we'll go back to orange for our safety equipment here. Nice, I'm digging it. I am digging it. Uh, do I wanna paint these seats up? Yeah, let's give them a nice like leather brown or something. Like so. We've got some seats here. We'll do that like so, like so. Up here. Everybody gets a leather seat. There we go. Nice comfy leather seats. Leather seat, leather seat. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna throw some equipment up front here just so these guys have some stuff. Uh, I was gonna put some equipment up here. Let's mirror it. So we'll do a flashlight. Uh, I want a compass, wherever the compass may be. We'll give these guys oxygen up here as well. Always nice to have a backup. We'll do night vision, binox, maybe a first aid kit just to, uh, just to be safe here. And a compass, we'll shove the compass in there. Uh, that'll help with navigation in groups like so. And then this is a tough area, so we'll just fill this in. Nice, and they can grab whatever they need from right there. Perfect. Uh, now my pilot and co-pilot need a place to grab some stuff. So what I can do is actually, let's copy this, resize it. We don't need the whole seat. We actually don't need all of this. We just need that right, come on, that right there. So we'll copy that. We'll move that forward. This will be the standard issue for our crewman here. Uh, so we'll paste it, slide it over. Hit U to reverse it, paste it, and then we'll merge these guys in. So now they have flashlight, oxygen, binox, night vision, a compass, and a med kit all right here. Um, how far do they have to run for welding equipment? All the way to the back. Should I make a little section up here for just a just in case section? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we have just in case. We'll bring a welder up here. We've got the room. Uh, so this can be our just in case section. We'll do a welder and then we'll do a fire extinguisher. And now we should be pretty set up for in for equipment. I don't think we'll need anything else. Fire, scuba, let's double check here. You know, I think I actually might put a couple strobes on here as well, just so we can, uh, just so we can find each other in case we're, uh, we're doing some swimming missions and it's dark and things like that. So we'll get rid of two of those oxygen containers there. We'll put strobes in there. Uh, we've got oxygen up on the wall there. You know what, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Can I paint these orange? Nope, those are the color that they are. That's okay, I don't really like this. That's gonna have to do for now. But that does give us room, all, all this could open up and this could be our winch right here. This could be a big hole in the floor for a door, which would be really nice. Why is that, what? Am I just, oh, I'm looking at the air. I was like, why is that gray like that? That was really, really weird. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a thing. We can put a winch in and do things like that. I need your ideas though. Uh, so we're good here, equipment, equipment. Those guys don't need equipment. Um, what if I change this up? What if I put these back here instead? There is this gap, if I can get, come on. You know you wanna go there. You know you want to go there. There you go, oh, it, it had it, it had it for a second. Come on, you just, there you go, oh, perfect. And then we can delete that and that, and we'll put one there. And I didn't do it on both sides. Oh, that was hard enough as it was. Oh, okay, we'll just delete that seat. That makes it easier. We'll put that there. Delete you, delete you. Put that there. 
So grab our seat again, place it, paint it. Perfect. Uh, I don't know what color we want these parachutes to be. Maybe I'll change the color of those once we figure out a color for our actual helicopter. Uh, and what do we put here? What does this do? Uh, this does go to the engine. Um, what if we put a door here just for the sake of repairs? Not that we can get in there, but we can at least open it up and hold a welding torch to it. Uh, is any of this going to work? Okay, we'll get rid of all that. And that'll just be engine access. Uh, it's got to be. Uh, inverse, like so, and like so. All right. I think that works. I, it doesn't necessarily need to stay like that. We can always change things up. Uh, simple enough. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, I feel like we're missing something here. Let's go ahead and do our lights. Uh, we'll need one over our med bed here. We'll need one by the doors. We'll need one up top where our engineers sit. What is this? Oh, that's where the. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Get an engineer light. And then we'll need a light right here behind the stairs. And then we could put one, I guess, above these guys, but it won't necessarily be on all the time. But we'll have that option. And I think I'm going to paint all these red, minus the, uh, the med bed here. Uh, so we'll go here, grab red. No, nope, that wasn't red. Red, 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 and red. Uh, that'll keep our night vision intact here. Um, switches? We need switches. Uh, I'm going to toggle. I think once you come straight in the door, uh, there should be a switch right there. Uh, and this will hook up to say this light, this light, and this switch. And then this switch will hook up to this switch. And now we've got a nice little uh, three-way. I think that's what it's called. Three-way. Three-way switch there. Uh, up here, we'll need another toggle. And this will turn on our lights up here. Uh, let's put it... Oh, I don't know. I feel like these guys up here need to be in charge of it, but they don't. Um, let's just stick it right here. We'll do the same thing. There'll just be a light on each side. And this will hook up to here and here. And then we'll need one in the back. And we just plop it right there, right next to the switch. Perfect. All right, cool. That is that. Uh, do I have batteries anywhere? I don't think I have batteries anywhere on this, but I did because I cranked this thing up. So there are batteries right in there. Okay, perfect. So we can hook up some stuff up with electric. Uh, what else can we do in here as far as interior goes, though? Uh, I feel like I'm running out of stuff. Um, can make this look like that actually needs some steps to get into it. There we go. That just makes it look nice. Um, let's uh, let's plan out this. Let's go ahead and make this door in the floor. Door in the floor. Um, is that too big of a door? Maybe. Maybe it needs to be like that big. But if it needs to be that big, it needs to be a hole that big. Okay, so let's get our door pieces. Uh, we're gonna start with the corners here. And I think, I think I just put those upside down. Yes, I did. I want this to open from the bottom. And that should be what we need to do that. And you know what? That feels like it's too far over. Maybe that's good. Okay, frame edge here. Well, that's nice. I just kind of go zoop, zoop, zoop like that. Uh, robotic door hinge. Is that the right piece? I don't think that's the right piece. Door frame controller. We definitely need one of these. Okay, and then the hinge. I, I swear that's, it doesn't feel right. Which side is the door? Is that it? Let's check our arrows. Okay, that is it. Uh, let me get this thing off the ground. This thing is just way too close. Of course, it'll probably flip over as soon as I uh, try to set it in the ground again and spawn it, but we'll, we'll get this worked out. Uh, so this door will open downwards we'll have our winch come out perfect okay so from here we just need our door pieces door panel edge door frame edge oh, i hope i was using the right pieces here okay those go like that those go like that i need a corner door panel edge door panel corner okay so far so good and then this one here perfect and then there's our door uh do 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 where do we put the button? Because I know the winch has to go here as well. Hmm. And then will the winch fit through there? Uh, it might not. We'll have to figure that out. But we got a hole in the floor. So that is a thing. Um, let's do this. Let's just put a toggle right here in the center and we'll move it when we need to. You know what? Let's, let's double this up. Toggle. We'll go for a two-sided toggle here. That way from either side we can open it if need be. Uh, that locks it. And I don't have a switch controller for this. Okay, so we'll grab a mini switch box here. And where do I want to place this? We'll just do it in the door. Like so. That goes here. That goes here. And then on and 
off. Negative one. That should work. Perfect. All right, cool. Uh, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, we've got quite a bit of the interior done and I wanna see what you guys think about it. I wanna see your opinions on it. Uh, Cause we do some stuff like that. It makes it look kind of structural. Yeah, maybe. Doesn't look good there though. Uh, I'll leave it like it is. So yeah, guys, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you do a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And please, please, please put your comments and suggestions down below. Uh, I'd love to see them. I'd love to see what you think about this because it's uh, it's coming along nicely. I'm enjoying it. And I'd love to see what ideas you guys have because I might overthink something. So yeah, guys, thanks so much. And we will see you in the next one.